and I'm good. And a, a little light went on, and they realized that, you know what? I don't even need this apartment. I can just go rent a tent and go live off the land or for like, buy a tent. Yeah. like a tenth of what <laughs> I used to be on. Or I can make my own tent. You know, I can go uh, shoot a buffalo or something. Yeah. So that that is what's made the event industry hard, and people are looking for experiential stuff. So... Like a person could go out and experience the woods mm -hmm. being uh, free like that. And it's new and interesting stuff rather than, you know, going the same way to work all the time and you punch the clock and you do your thing and then you punch the clock and you go home again. And I think that's what the, the world is looking for is experiences. And how can I, how can I compete with, uh, you know, someone out trout fishing and, uh, you know, sitting around the campfire, making their own coffee that they ground themselves or whatever. <laughs> How can I create that in a, in a ballroom of a hotel? I, I think, <laughs> I think that there's a lot more that's to offer inside this, inside these situations that you're creating though. I think that's part of it. Um, you know, yeah. Is there, is it difficult to compete against these unique experiences that some of these other people are creating? Yes. But also, you're providing a way for people to connect with other people they they are gonna want to connect with because they're 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 gathering connections that actually become strong long term leads, and that's that's really it's a good thing, and it's not just for business; it's also for personal life. I mean, you know, they they say that you're actually gonna be as successful as the five people you spend the, the most amount of time around. Yeah, I've heard that. And they, they, they also say that if you want to be successful, then you need to have successful friends. So there's all these things that are all out there. Well, how do you get around somebody that's successful and how do you convince those people that you're actually worthwhile to be a person to you know, be around so they can share their connections with you, right? And that's actually something that you provide. You actually hook people up with other people who already are living that life. They're already living that entrepreneurial life and you're connecting them with people that maybe want to get there themselves, or maybe they're looking for new clients or perhaps they're just looking for a new person to shake hands with that they can actually get along with. Well, there might be just the relationship of finding someone that's like-minded that says, you know, I've been thinking about getting an RV or a tent and taking off and kind of unplugging from all this stuff. There you go. So you might even go to an event and meet those people at that event. So that might be even a theme of do I or don't yeah. I? Do I want to be in it or do I want to be out of it? Should I unplug or should I stay plugged in? <laughs> Right. It could be the theme of the event. Who knows? That might attract a lot of people that are thinking, you know what? Take this job and shove it. I'm going to head out.